Hey guys, welcome back to Call of the Wild, and today we're back out here on the Silver Ridge Peaks. Uh, I was gonna say off Colorado, but I honestly don't even know if this is based off of Colorado or not. What is going on, Silver, uh, Silver Moon, Jackson, Aurora, Tony Hollerish, Corey, Charisus? Um, so what I wanted to say first off, before I do anything, is I feel really cool today, but I don't feel just cool in the way that you think I might feel. I feel cool as in I actually have a new air conditioner now I have an air conditioner thanks to a lot of you guys and um, well Emil Jensen in particular he said here take this and use it for savings for an air conditioner and now I feel actually refreshed and it's such a good feeling to be able to feel refreshed you know and uh, yeah so thank you for that I'm very grateful I really am Corella in uh, Australia, that is so cool. What's going on, gamer boy? Good to see you, Daniel Gunter. What is up, man? The pro gamer. Hello, everyone, as well. Uh, oh, so it is Colorado. I was wondering that, Zach. Yeah, I wasn't sure. Wasn't sure if it was really Colorado or not. I mean, I kind of assumed that it might be, because the Rocky Mountains, you know. But the heck was that? Oh, it's a bighorn sheep. Well, let's take down this big horn. So what we're going to have today is the 30 odd six and we'll also have the 12 gauge pump loaded with some uh, bird shot. And oh, first shot was uh, not really starting off too good, but hey, we got a super chat already coming in from Jackson goes outdoors. I appreciate that, Jackson. Uh, that's really cool, man. Thank you. I mean, I still think we should have gotten. Yeah, we got we got a uh, single lung. OK, so that's good. But I'll have the uh, 12 gauge loaded with slugs and birdshot in case we see turkeys. So I'm really looking forward to trying out, you know, the birdshot on some turkeys. Plus we have the scope with the 12 gauge too. In fact, uh, let's bust that out and take a look at it here. It's going to be this right here. Nice. Okay, there is our That's big money. horn Thank down. So much. Interesting. Sam Zager, I am playing Hunter Call of the Wild right now. That is so cool, man. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, hello from the Navajo Nation. Whoa, that's so cool, Warrior. What is going on in the Navajo Nation? So, I thought we actually hit too low, but we actually hit a little bit to the left. But that is not bad. A 133 gold uh, bighorn. Wait, how the heck is this thing a gold? That is a very, very small one. 133.5. He barely made gold. 132.7 is actually gold. And, yeah, okay. Well, I guess that makes a little bit more sense. Just jumped up, uh, well, I heard a bull Rocky Mountain Elk over here somewhere. That's money. Thank you so much. So, yeah. Um, I'm a little bit exhausted because this morning I've been running around to, like, four different stores to try and find an air conditioner. And, uh, apparently everything is sold out in the nearest, like, I don't know, kilometer or two from here. Well, I figured that we might as well try and get, what the heck is that? <laughs> oh, that is so cool. That's a cool little gift. I appreciate that. Wow. Uh, but for real says, thanks for being you. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, super chat. That's really cool, man. Thank you very much. Wow. Um, That's so really, yeah, so all the Home Depots were sold out. All the Walmarts were sold out and Targets were sold out. So I left it like 7 30 this morning and i drove around to four different stores and it was just like do you guys not have one air conditioning unit nope we're completely sold out everything is gone i'm like oh that's nice all i really need is one <laughs> and i'm not even that picky at this point at this point i'll pretty much choose you know whatever i can get my hands on and uh finally i walked over to lowe's and i found they had like three more uh, window units left and i got one of them so i was actually pretty happy with that but might as well take down this uh, mountain lion here. I should take that one down as well. I'm wondering if we actually got that rocky elk. It does look like we did, so we should be able to swing over here and find that bull. Silver Moon, I'm doing really good. How are you doing today? Thank you for asking. Top best bow hunter, I'm doing really good. Thank you. I appreciate that. Epic Bass, what is going on? Welcome, man. Good to see you. I probably should have just pulled out the 12 gauge because I have slugs in it. And uh, I'm wondering... Yeah, no, I couldn't even pull it out in time. No, I don't have slugs in it. Scratch that. I actually do have uh, 
Birdshot loaded up in this right now, but that's going to be a female and cinnamon on her. Um, so, yeah, I could probably put slugs in here, but let's try and find this elk here first. Um, I honestly don't know if we'll be able to find him. I saw him run this way. Is this going to be... That's money. Thank you so much. So, I got to find some kind of blood here. Hey, Jackson goes indoors. That is so cool. I appreciate the super chat again. Wow, that's awesome. That's really nice of you. Thank you. Ah, oh boy, I don't really know where he went. I think this might be his track. And according to the hunting pressure, he did go down. Which, we could probably find him, but... Yeah, that's actually quite a bit of hunting pressure here. So, wow. TTV, goodbye. Hey, Hunter, what's best spots for mule deer? Um, actually, there's quite a few spots for mule deer. Uh, I do believe Scarecrow has a Thank you so much. Scarecrow has a video saying like the best spots for mule deer, and uh, I would definitely check out that because he has pretty much every single spot circled on his video, which that will come in handy. It definitely will. So I would I would uh, recommend checking that out. But painting my card deck again. Wow, I didn't even get a chance to read the last one. Um, Lucas. Ariel, you've inspired me over the years to keep playing and never give up. Any good mule deer spot should be most, much appreciated. Um, so like I was just saying, uh, well, I can tell you my favorite spot for uh, mule deer. But if you want to know... Oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We might have a... Uh, uh, that's a doe and a black bear. That's money. Thank Actually, so much. the fact that there's a doe here already, that's interesting to me. Yeah, that's a new zone. I've never had this zone before. Um, there's another doe over there. But my favorite spot, well, two of my favorite spots is over here by Cougar Watch. I uh, just got a diamond mule deer right here off of this Snuffles Outpost right over here. And then this spot here is good too, Climber Outpost. My all-time favorite spot for mule deer is right here, um, just south of this lodge here at the Silver Outpost. This little lake right here, this is my all-time favorite spot. So yeah, just come here around like uh, 9, 30, 10 o'clock in the morning and you'll find lots of Truac mule deer. Uh, practice, Edward. Just a bit of practice is all. Peter Sultan, hello from Croatia. That is so cool. Hello to you as well. Trey Simmons, what is going on? Good to see you. So, that's going to be double lung at 253 and uh, a female. Just missed the top of the heart there. Not bad. <laughs> Dude, I appreciate that, Jackson. Thank you for that. I'm happy to hear that I can help put a smile on your face. So, I wasn't actually planning on going to this spot, but since we had some action, I figured we might as well not pass up the opportunity. And, uh, I don't see that bull. I'm sure, I'm sure he's probably down somewhere over there. But, uh, what I really want to do is get over to this spot here, because I haven't been here. Uh, that's what I was going to say. I haven't been to my map in the last, like, four days. So, I've been hunting multiplayer a lot. That way, during that's a stream, Thank you so much. then, um, uh, we can have, like, a fresh start, kind of, you know? But there's a bunch of mountain goats. There's a doe. And I appreciate that. Did I get a haircut? Yes, I did. My girlfriend just gave me a haircut yesterday, actually. But uh, thanks for asking. It was getting kind of long, and it's really warm. Well, especially without air conditioning. Now I do have air conditioning. But before that, I didn't have air conditioning. And uh, yeah, a long hair when it's hot. I'm talking like 90, 95 degrees with humidity uh probably like 40 50 percent humidity it gets really really warm and i told her yeah you know just like chop off a bunch of hair go for it and so she did and apparently this spot oh there we go not a tiny buck another not tiny buck but i'm wondering if maybe we spawned a little bit too close to this spot which is why we only have a couple of bucks that are kind of far out here 250. Oh, the wind's blowing that way. That could be why. So, uh, that's going to be a hard shot. <laughs> okay. I thought we might have pulled a little bit, but we must have nicked the edge of the heart. So, uh, that's kind of cool. We got another one over there. I think that actually might be that other buck, but I uh, might not be able to see him just yet. We're probably going to move to a next spot right now. Ethan Crowell was, hey, I've watched all your videos for two years. 
and I watched from Ontario. Oh, that's so cool, man. I uh, used to go to Ontario quite a bit when I was a kid. We would go fishing up there a lot for walleye and uh, big northern pike. Tons of perch as well. So that's a really cool spot. Uh, just reset my map and I already have found four diamonds. Wow. So apparently that's working out for you. Nice. Good job. You know, it's always the key. Once you find something that works, that, uh, you know, just keep doing it because you definitely got a solution there. That's pretty cool. Sometimes when I don't find the right animals on my map or if I don't find many diamonds, I'll just nuke out all of my zones and just kind of like reset it because it's like, otherwise, if I just keep taking down big bucks, I keep coming back and the same big buck comes back or similar to the same buck. So when you reset kind of like all your zones, who knows what's going to come back and that's kind of a uh, you know one of the things where you just don't know what's going to happen and you gotta take that chance do you use a seven millimeter um i do use a seven millimeter yeah i do yep uh oh got a little bit of a lag here but that was a nice cornering uh 246 double lung heart shot there whoa what happened what happened okay we're smooth now seems to be smooth um that's money no thank you so much we're not smooth i gotta check something once here that could be the issue skipped oh that's definitely gonna be an issue okay hold on hopefully that should fix yeah it definitely seems like it fixed it okay so I had a screen recording on in the background and I thought I could actually use it while I was streaming But apparently I can't because that was not cool <laughs> It basically just like stopped the entire stream for a second and uh, Let's head over to our next spot here because we don't have like tons of time. So I really want to get moving Yeah, we had a bunch of lag. Don't worry. We tried to fix that there stream just started it did just start perfect hard shot That's right, Jaden. Thank you for that Wasn't that big, but you know what it was a four so not too small either. That's actually, ooh. That's a really decent level four bighorn there. And some mule deer. There's a bunch of muleys over there, but honestly, I couldn't really get too good of a look at them. Um, I was about to read somebody's chat here. Sam Singer, my message got totally ignored. Let's see. Oh, I see it, oh my God. Thank you so much. Have a good day. I apologize for that, Sam. I was having a little bit of issues where we were lagging, and uh, that was right exactly when you sent the super chat. Thank you, and I hope That's you have a really funny. good day Thank too, so Sam. Much. That is really cool of you. What's it like in Canada, by the way? What's the temperature there? Mason Kazmarek. Uh, Thank you so much for the super chat. Hello to you as well. That's a really cool last name, by the way, and I totally probably pronounced it wrong, but you know what? Hopefully I didn't. <laughs> Let's see. So there's a bunch of muleys here. That is not too impressive. Uh, a couple of somewhat decent bulls. That's a level four. Yeah, I'm not gonna complain about that. Uh, level three bighorn. But I wanna make sure we get a look at these bucks here quick first. Any big bucks? EH19, not just yet. We kinda just got started here. Just getting all started. I saw like Definitely one somewhat decent buck over here. Yeah, that guy there, that's a level three. Wow, I thought he was bigger than that. But there's a couple of bucks over here that we can't quite see just yet. Hello from Norway to you, uh, Warsterner. Warsteiner? Hello to you, man. Let's see. If you're taking video recommendations, can we see some 454 rhino hunting with a scope? Um, if I had the 454, I would totally do that, but I don't have that. I do have the 44, the 357, and uh, I don't know, something else unlocked, but I definitely do not have the 454 unlocked. Wow, that is not very impressive for this spot. Three small, small bucks. That's a very, very small buck. Honestly, I think we're just going to take down both those bucks at this point. just want to check over here quick. Yeah, I don't really see anything. Okay, let's try and take down both these bucks here real quick because uh, they're not really helping out much.
Where are they at? There's one there. And there's one there. But if we take... I started turning, but I still think we might have got one into him. We're going to go for three bucks, actually. Potentially, that might have actually uh, connected. I don't know if it did or not, but... Um, where do you know where I'm from? Uh, I don't know. What's going on, Edmund? Hell, Burb, I says hi. I've been playing Call of the Wild while watching the stream and just got a 172 dark brown diamond bighorn. I'm so happy. Wow, that's an incredible diamond. Congratulations, Nelson. Where on the map? Uh, we are by the Snuffles outpost here. Yeah, that was it. Normally, there's mule deer over here, too, but I haven't seen any lately, so Not too much action going on Never got a diamond, you know, they're not as easy to find as some people think it's a uh, it's a lot of luck and patience goes into it Okay, there's one piled up right here That's the first one Double lung 175 and then the second one ran this way that uh, should be like non-vital at least uh, Buttery medium, so that should take down this buck as well And we just jumped up Doe over there. There's our buck down right here Thank you, Zach. I appreciate that So that actually did work out pretty nice 192 caught the back of the lung there on that very very small buck I thought we might have hit another buck we did and there's blood here, but I honestly don't think that that's going to take down this buck. I could be wrong. And I think I am wrong, because that's 50%. Okay, why did it go from 50 to 75? Are we tracking them the wrong way? That was odd. Um, I think we could take down three. So we took down two. Well, 10, 30. I do think that this buck potentially might go down, depending on... 25%. This buck is definitely going down. Just depends on where he's going to go next. Hey, Drake. What's going on? Hey, Devin. Nugget boy. Good to see you. Any tips for bows? Go to the target range and practice. Practice, practice, practice. Those are the best tips you can have for bow hunting. Same thing in real life. The tips that I would have for real life is just shoot as many arrows as you can. At close distance like 20 yards and then go down to like 60 yards and uh, Once you start grouping at 20 then you'll be able to start grouping at 60 uh, That's a good question pickle best place for diamonds on Silver Ridge. I Mean honestly, they could be anywhere. You know, that's the thing about hunting uh, Doesn't really look like this buck's gonna go down. I Thought he was but at this point, I think he stopped bleeding. Hmm. Yeah. Definitely stopped bleeding. But I hear something. I think we actually might jump him up. <laughs> if we jump him up, we might as well uh, finish him off, you know? Uh, that was a doe, I believe. Or was that? Oh! That's not a bad ram. He's kind of stopped there, so we just uh, went for it. Is that our buck? Oh, it was our buck, and I totally messed that up. Could have had him, too. That's actually a big 136 gold and a black. Very nice. Nine yards away, but he kind of was stopped, so I guess uh, he was a little bit glitched out. Oh, it is super hot. It is super hot, Zach. Best spot for diamonds? Um, I like kind of like the middle of the map, actually. Where is our buck? I honestly don't know if that's our buck. Hopefully, it's not. I didn't think it was. That's not our buck. 
So where's our buck then? I still got tracks here. I mean, I guess it could potentially be our buck. No, that is definitely not our buck. But at the same time, I'm kind of glad we took him out of the herd because that is not a very impressive buck, a 111. Cool score, but not such a cool rack on that buck. There's a doe there. That's money. Thank so, you so much. Still trying to find uh that's a good question. What's your biggest true rack? Well, we did get a 318 scoring diamond true rack, or 319 scoring true rack diamond muley. So I guess technically that would be our biggest one, but probably like the widest one and the coolest one is like our 300, uh, wait, what was that? Like a 300 scoring true rack that we got a couple days ago. And the cool part about that one is we got him with the bow out of a tree stand. I think I have a video actually, yeah. Just look up uh, biggest true rack that I've ever seen. That is not, it's not a bad ram. <laughs> Trying for a quartering shot and I think we got it. <laughs> it's kind of funny, we're tracking down this injured buck and he's leading us to all kinds of other animals. So we're not even really hunting right now. It's just like kind of naturally happening, which it's kind of cool. I like it. It is 100 degrees outside for me. Oh yeah, it is toasty, Nugget Boy. It is definitely toasty. So that's why I'm really grateful that I finally have an air conditioner now. How many diamonds do you think you have in total? Um, I forgot. I thought it was like two, like 256, I think. So where did that ram just go? Did we not make a good shot? Uh, not exactly. Ooh, and double ooh. Well, we're gonna be able to bust out the shotgun here. And I'm kind of excited for this because there's a couple of gobblers over there. We do have the decoys and we also have the 12 gauge loaded with some bird shot here. Oh man, I missed another message. I gotta check that out. Let's see. Drake Hickman, how's your day going? My day is going really well. Thank you so much for asking, Drake. How's your day going? I hope it's well. I really appreciate the super That's chat. Money. Thank you so much. Now that other buck is over here still. But he's not really that big, so I'm not really too worried that much. Area, my day is going really well. <sighs> wow. <laughs> That's so funny because, uh, well, the person who messaged me is wow, and I just said wow, but not really on purpose. Anyways, thank you so much, wow, a fellow Wisconsinite. That is really awesome of you, man. I appreciate that super chat. Wow, Zion. That's such a cool name, by the way. What's the temperature like in Wisconsin? I actually just talked to my mom a little while ago, and she said it was somewhere around... That's money. Thank you so much. Well, I don't think it was that warm yet, but she said it's been... You know, somewhere around like 80s or something like that. But anyways, good to see another Wisconsin out here. 85 degrees in northern Illinois. Whew, that's not bad. It's pretty warm. Yeah, it is. You know what gets you warm is actually the humidity. That's really what gets you warm. Do decoys help with the attraction? They actually do. As long as you don't get too close to them and then you stay like 150 out, then you put the decoys out, then the turkeys will come right towards you, which we're about to find out here. And uh, I don't really want to get too much closer than this, but uh, yeah, we'll grab our decoys out. That's and let's see, 150, so yeah, that's somewhere around where I want to be. How do you get the camo 270, but for real? Uh, the way to get that is- that's uh, Thank you so much. You have to be a membership, well, you have to have a membership for the Hunter Classic, and um, then you had to have bought and called the Wild. And that's the only way you could get the Camouflage 270, so you really can't get it anymore, unfortunately. Uh, decoys are slat 6. Uh, turkey Caller, that's what I need. Come on. Turkey Caller. Okay, cool. And uh, did we just run into... <laughs> I think we just ran into our bighorn that we shot. That's so funny. I'm not even trying to find our bighorn. I'm literally trying to get set up on these uh, turkeys here. 
and uh, we ran right into the bighorn that we took a shot at at about 250. I thought we might have hit a little bit too far back and got intestine, and I was right, because here he is piled up right here. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Just have fun. What is going on? I am doing excellent. Thank you so much for asking. I am not on multiplayer just yet. Nope, we are on single player right now. Read Pro 64X, thank you so much. I appreciate that. It's going really good. Hello, Daniel Baker. Okay, so I think we should be not too far away from these turkeys here. And uh, we're trying to work our way That's around. Funny. Thank you so much. Oh, Snakehead, how have you been, man? What is your dream hunt IRL? That's a really good question. My dream hunt... Okay, good, good. They didn't spook. We're still working our way around. Um, jaw and skull? I let them too much? Ah, high. I hit high. Look at it. Right over the top. If we were to drop lower, we would have caught the middle of the lung. But I would say my dream, my, uh, dream hunt is probably... Um, Roosevelt Elk Hunt in, uh, Arizona. Roosevelt Elk, definitely. Bow hunting Roosevelt Elk. Because I did it once when I was 17. No, when I was 19. And, uh, I didn't get one. So, I really would like to be able to try and do that again and make it happen this time, you know? Well, we're going to set out a decoy right here. The key is, I think... Uh, do I really only have one decoy? I can't believe this. I guess I only have one decoy. Well, hopefully that one decoy brings them in. I don't know if it's going to. Usually I have uh, three decoys and then they come running. But it might. It just might. So let's put out a couple of calls and see if they come in. It just might. Nice little spot here. We can crawl up on top of this log. Oh, that's not cool, Audi. Usually I can climb up this log. Why can't I get up? Come on. Maybe from this side. There we go. There we go. I see a big red head. I see a big red head coming in. Oh, get back up there. Get back up there. Okay, guys, here they come. Here they come. Look it. Look it. I see a Look at big old Tom coming in. You guys want to know if the decoys work? This is how you know if the decoys work. This is exactly how you know. So there is our uh, decoy right there. And right here is a big old gobbler coming in. In fact, that's the max weight gobbler coming in right there. 80 yards away that's coming and so closing. Much. There was two toms over here. So uh, I don't know if we want to wait for the other tom to come out. But at the same time, I really don't want him to spook. But 63 right there. There's the other gobbler. That's what I'm talking about. That's exactly what I was waiting for. Smaller one. That's the max weight gobbler at 60. So maybe we'll try and take down this one at 60 first. And then take down this one second. I mean, I think we could call. I really do, but... Two gobblers right there, 55 out. Imagine, boom, double. Nah, I don't think so. Oh, I mean, if he stepped like two inches more to the left, we could totally take that shot. Oh, they're all moving. We went for a double. <laughs> we went for a double, but uh. Wow, I probably should have just went for one. Anyways, we might as well take down this hen. Boom! I think we got her as well. Yep. And we'll take down this hen. Two! I think we hit her as well. <laughs> yeah, that was uh, kind of cool. It really was. Let's grab this turkey. It's like, I want to keep the speed going, you know? I don't want to sit here and wait too long for the turkey, so... Normally, I'd probably wait and, uh, wait, why can't I pick up the decoy? There we go. Normally, I'd want them to come a little bit closer, but because we're streaming, I really wanted to take like a 50 or 60 yard shot. And, uh, we hit both of them the first shot. I could have easily just went for one, but I was trying for a double, you know, to make it kind of cool. But, uh, we did get both of them. So, you know what? I'm okay with that. 
And we ended up getting the Max Weight Gobbler as well. Uh, we hit this one three times. That was a Max Weight Gobbler. And we kind of messed up the score. Look. That's money. Thank you so yep. much. 4.3 would have been a gold. The second shot. Yeah, see? We weren't having that good a pattern there. But the first one. First one probably would have taken him down had we have hit in the heart. But 64 yards, we just didn't quite have the penetration to get a long hit at that far. But then this one, we probably should have got good. Oh, we did get a gold out of that. Look at it. They scored almost the same. This one, we hit uh, 13 times again. Going right to the chest there. We dropped a little bit lower. I should have held a little bit higher than that. But you know what? We still got him. That second shot was actually really good. We put one in the neck right there as well. So not bad, 67 yards. That's still quite a ways. That's a little bit too far, honestly. And uh, we hit another one here. It looks like that's the hen that flew over the top of the road here. Thank you, Chase. Yeah, it was a decent shot. It wasn't amazing, but I mean, we did take down quite a few turkeys. So I guess that's what it's all about, you know? Spears would be kind of cool, wouldn't they? Ooh, look at the honey pressure. We did quite all right. Turn our tracks back on so we can find our last turkey that flew this way. It was a hen, I believe. But that's uh, another turkey track, actually. Yeah, they're both flying this way. Wow. <laughs> we did pretty good. Finally, wait, I found my charger finally. Oh, that's such good news. Glad you can watch the rest of the stream. Hey, Austin, what's going on, man? Good to see you. Oh, that's kind of cool. So, is this turkey not going to go down? It was a hen. And I know we didn't hit her that well. But I do think she should go down. Two birds with one stone. Yeah, we did, Sharon. We did. Technically, if we would have shot once, then they both would have went down. But they were still flopping around, so I didn't want to. I didn't really want to let them uh, sit there while they were injured. So I figured we'd finish them off. Arrow Edge. They have a semi-auto, and it's an M1 Grand. Yeah, the M1 is quite nice. Hey, Madrid, twelve ten. I appreciate that. Thank you. There are a lot of turkey tracks here. And uh, we're still tracking down this one hen. I don't even know where we're going to. Uh, oh, we're going over here. Actually, this is one of my favorite spots for turkeys. We still have blood, and the turkey still did not go down just yet. By this point, I'm not really trying to find this turkey. I'm more just kind of like hunting and uh, seeing what it leads us to. Let's see. Hello, Dallas. How have you been, Dallas? Good to see you, man. Toast the lizard. I'm doing really good. Thank you. Where is your favorite turkey spot? That's a really good question. My favorite turkey spot, I would say, is uh, at Hunter Outpost, which is right in the middle of the map. Right in the middle of the map, there's two little lakes. The one on the right side has tons of turkeys. I love hunting that spot. But right now, we should be entering some more turkeys here. And hopefully we can find... I know there was a rare light brown hen turkey over here before. So if I potentially could see it, I wouldn't mind trying to get that down. Okay, let's switch back to a 30 odd 6 in slot 1. And we'll have the 12 gauge in slot three. That way, if we jump up a big buck, I can pull the 30 odd six and we can, you know, take them down. But if we see a turkey, we still have the 12 gauge. Usually there's turkeys over here. Oh, in this case, I guess we're gonna find a muley. I can't see him though. Where is he? Keep an eye out. Got tracks over there. See, that should be from Turkey. 
and I think it is from Turkey. Thing is, this is a really good spot for Turkey, but there's also so many mountain lion that the mountain lion kind of, they take over. And uh, then the turkeys don't like to stick around here too long. It's a small muley buck track. But we got another track here. That's a doe track. Hey, look at that. Got a nice little ground blind there. So that buck, or a couple of bucks, should be out here somewhere. But it's really thick, kind of hard to see. There he is. I knew I'd find him out here. That's a tiny buck. But I guess it's a buck. I know there's more. What's going on, Mason? Should they add more great ones? Ooh, that's a good question. I mean, how cool would it be to see like a red deer great one or even like a Cape Buffalo great one? I think those would be some cool great ones to see. The great that's one. Money. Thank you so much. I appreciate that super chat. The great one lion. Is that a different one? Like an albino for a great one uh, lion. There you go, Sarah. You got a albino bison. Congratulations on that. Brody Erickson, what's going on? Zach says non-typicals in the Hunter Classic, huh? Or no, you're talking about Call of the Wild. Yeah. I mean, it has a lot of potential to, to come to Call of the Wild since they already have them in the Hunter Classic and they already have the great one. You know, just kind of like branch off from that. Uh, I really don't think that there's any other bucks here. I thought there would have been. But I guess not. Let's go back over here and see if we can't catch them out in this opening here. There we go. That's going to be... Oh, that's a mountain goat and a female bighorn sheep. I was like, what is that? There is another max weight turkey, which I want mine going for. Also got a mule deer out there. That turkey is kind of spooked though. But if we could somehow get around it, if we don't, however, see a muley. Anytime I see a max weight turkey, I always want to go after it. So, depending on like how spooked he is or where he goes, we might go after him and try and take like one nice shot this time. And uh, I mean, I can, I would like to take like a 50 yard shot. You know, I'm pretty comfortable with that. But when you try and do doubles, that's when it messes it up because you're not focusing on one. It's almost like Say you're duck hunting or goose hunting, and when the when the birds come in, you don't pick one out and aim on it. You just aim for the middle and just kind of flock shoot. Well, when you flock shoot, you end up getting like one, maybe two if you're lucky. But if you actually like pick them out, aim individually, you can take down three, four, five sometimes, you know, take down your whole limit. But, you know, you kind of learn it the hard way. Hey, Max Lewis, good to see you. No problem at all, man. Favorite DLC. I actually like the high tech pack probably the most. It comes with the 30 odd six, uh, the rangefinder bow sight, the night vision goggles, and um, the tracer arrows for the bow. So yeah, I like that a lot. I like that quite a bit actually. I wonder if we could go around here and kind of locate that maxway gobbler. Leighton is second. Yeah. Oh. Something's calling way back there. That's a long ways back there. And, uh, don't really like this around here. Not at all. We might leave it there for now. Hey, uh, Codfather Fishing. Welcome to the channel and thank you for subscribing. I appreciate that. Player Slayer, what's going on? Great to see you here, man. Right now, I think we're going to swing around and try and take down this Maxway Gobbler over here that I just saw. If we can get a good win, we should be able to go around here and call on this Gobbler. However, yeah, I really don't think we need more decoys. The one decoy, those turkeys came in pretty good, but then they kind of stopped because 
The reason why I think they stopped is because we didn't have full cover. We had half cover, and uh, they're smart, so they they could see us basically. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, he's over there somewhere. We'll work our way around and see if we can't find him. Uh, Cameron, I got my first diamond today. Congratulations on that diamond, man. Welcome back, Braden. Welcome back, you're just in time. Where did he go? Uh, he should be like over there somewhere, but it's gonna be interesting. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to go for him because it's kind of thick over there. Maybe we'll go to a different spot. What I do want to do... I haven't been here. Mountain Lion. Uh, I think we'll change... Change the time a little bit. Hey, Dihan. What is going on? Thank you and welcome to the channel. Yeah, we'll do a little bit of... Uh, Mule deer hunting now. EAB Gaming. I need to make money on this game. How do I make money? There's a couple of videos on how to make a lot of money on this game. And I definitely recommend checking out those videos. Uh, I think I have one. Maybe two of them. Like Flinter has a couple. Scarecrow. Yeah, there should be a couple out there. Should be out on the river, DD. Oh, nice, nice. Any tips for turkey hunting? Uh, turkey hunting, you kind of want to hunt near like the water, but you also want to be in the right spot. You don't want to be like, you know, in a spot where you never really see turkeys. Like over here, there's no turkeys. There's turkeys here, here, all here, here, and here. Kind of like the left, the west end of the map. There's a lot of turkeys around these areas here. But let's go over here, because I've never even seen... Well, I haven't been here in a while, so... Levi Rayzook, what's your favorite gun in uh, Call of the Wild? My favorite gun probably would be the 30 odd 6 I would have to say. Yeah. But I typically don't really hunt with rifles that much. I mean, I do, but I like to use bows like on big animals. What's going on, Barney? Lucas warning, I got a diamond muley and an albino muley in the same herd. That is one lucky hunt. Congratulations on the diamond and the rare. My least favorite map is Medved Taiga. Is that because it's so thick and you can't really see very good there? Wait, are those bighorn? No, those are elk tracks. So maybe we're like a little bit too early for the spot. Or yeah. Or maybe they spawn on this side and because the tent is here that they're they're not in this area right now. So Well, let's go over here. Bows are very challenging. Yep, you can definitely say that again. Got my first diamond turkey at the lake you just traveled to. Yeah, it's a really good spot for turkeys. Congratulations on your first diamond turkey, by the way. Uh, elk. You know what? I'm really not that good at finding big elk. The fact that we found a diamond Rocky Mountain elk is kind of like a miracle. <laughs> and the only reason we found that diamond elk is because we didn't make a very good shot on, uh, on the mule deer from before. Hey, Hayden Oliver. Good to see you. Uh, the thing about IRL hunting uh, videos is, first off, you can't really do it and make money with it. So, 
uh, YouTube kind of looks down on that stuff. I mean, I, I hunt like all the time, but to be able to record it and make videos of it, that's a whole nother story. I mean, maybe like little clips are here and there I could do, but to try and like edit it and, you know, get a camera person out there. It's a lot of work. It's more for me. It's more about like the uh, the moment that you t that takes place when you're actually out in the woods. There's an elk over there. The other day I saw a pretty good muley buck over here. Lots of elk over there. So I'm wondering if this buck is over here still. Oh, what's going on? Yeah, that could work, Replay Boy. You're right about that. You're right about that. There's a bighorn. Somewhat decent bolt. There's a piebald cow elk over there. That's kind of cool. What was that? Oh, look what we found. We found the light brown rare turkey that I was looking for. No way. She's just sitting out there. 290 yards out. And we found the mule deer too, apparently. They're right out there. Decent ram. Ooh. I mean, I think this one's actually like the same. 6091. These two rams are very similar in size. Yeah, I really don't want to lose this rare turkey. Look at, she's just sitting out there. That's so cool. But there's an elk. That's a four. That's a three, huh? Hmm. There's only two does here. I know there was a good buck here. That's going to be probably the biggest ram here. I really don't care too much about the score on this uh, hen. And we have a bad wind. So I think we're just going to take it down with 30 odd six. And we're going to try and take down the ram as well. She's 280 out there. The ram is right there at 270. Can I get on that ram? Mm. Not right there for sure. Maybe. Mm, no, can't take that. Hold on. Oh, look at this. They're going to be side by side here. That's a double. And that ram just piled up. <laughs> cool. Yeah, I've actually been wanting this turkey for a long time, and I was never able to find it. So the fact that we just found it, that's pretty cool. I'm really happy with that. This is Silver Ridge Peaks. Uh, the only 13-year-old girl hunter? I mean, it depends on, like, how you grew up. Like, if you grew up in a family that I grew up with, it didn't matter if you're a boy or a girl, we all did the same thing. You know, I, I grew up with two brothers, and my mom, she would help out on the farm too. She would help out, you know, cleaning pens and holding gates for cows and pigs just as much as we did. So it really doesn't really make that, uh, doesn't make that much difference what you are, I guess. But I can see what you mean. Like, kids would, you know, make fun of you. Yeah, I understand what you're talking about. But that's because kids don't know sometimes. Uh, there was a big buck here, but he disappeared. It's kind of sad because he's huge. I believe there was like a 300 plus muley here somewhere. And I saw him like three days ago, but I guess we'll still take down the rare turkey and uh, the bighorn. You know, can't complain about that. Not at all. Not at all. There goes that elk. I can't believe that's only a three. That's a really solid three. More elk over there. 
But here is our rare, I think, light brown turkey. You really can't see her. Maybe if we pat down this grass, we might be able to a little bit. No, not really. Let's pick her up. And she's a light brown, 3.5. We ended up getting a right lung liver stomach at 319. But she's going to look so cool in our trophy lodge. I've wanted another rare turkey, female turkey, for a while. Because we have a couple of uh, male or tom uh, turkeys that are rare. But not really too many females. And here's our ram. He's going to be a good one. A 135 gold stomach liver walking at 333. Whew. That was actually a little bit far back. But we still got it. Thought I just heard a turkey, did I? Ram. There's that elk. There's the other ram. Okay, let's go to the next location here real quick. I do, I try to. I definitely try to. So let's go back here. I'm wondering if maybe the mule deer might be here now. Where that? Where that? Oh yeah, they're definitely here now. So we were here a little bit too early last time. Uh, not very big. Lots of does, small bucks, does, somewhat decent ram. Another somewhat decent ram. Got a tripod over there. But uh, nothing like too impressive. At least in this spot. Hmm. Honestly, don't even know which one of these we should take. I guess none. Yeah, we're not going to take any of these down. We're heading to the next spot because this is not really acceptable here. I think if we go here, maybe get lucky. Toast Lizard. Yes, I did. Last night, uh, my girlfriend cut my hair. What's going on, Terrace Staples? Good to see you. Hunting is going, or uh, Terrence Staples, sorry about that. Hunting's going pretty smooth, pretty smooth. We kind of got distracted by a couple of uh, cool animals in the beginning, but... No muleys here? Oh, there they are. Yeah, they're all leaving. That's a decent three, and another decent... Those two are like twins, look at that. Cool bucks. Cool bucks indeed. But... It's really tough to take... Take that shot. Try and get like the back of the neck, but... I think we'll hold off. What was that? Pronghorn. I appreciate that, Alpha. Thank you. I haven't been here in a while. Oh, nice, Levi. I appreciate that. Thank you. Decent three. That's a pretty big uh, bison. You know what? I think we could go... 10 o'clock, a little bit too early for there. I think we could go here. What's going on, Cameron? Savannah? Yeah, maybe next time I could do a Savannah hunt. Hey, Arrow Edge, good to see you. It's a decent three. Well, we might have to go to uh, multiplayer because I'm not having very many big bucks on my map. Unless maybe if we change the time, might help. I don't know. At this point, uh, I don't know where the bucks are at. Diamond Muley are sometimes hard to find. They're very hard to find. Wow. Yeah, no, I got to read the chat more often. You're right. It's really difficult because 
kind of having difficulties trying to find a decent melee buck here. Haven't even found one yet, but uh, we will. We'll keep looking. We'll keep looking. Um, I just don't know. That might not be a bad spot to go over there, actually. For sure here has potential. Hmm. Maybe here? Hmm. Potentially we could go here. Good question, Tanner. I usually go whitetail hunting in the fall, which uh, October is coming up soon, so I'll probably be bow hunting then. And then uh, I like to go sturgeon spearing in the winter, which that's in February, so I'll do that. And then turkey hunting is in April, so about like three times a year. Come on, bucks. I am not getting lucky with the bucks right now. You gotta be here. Pronghorn tracks. Sam Zanger dropped a Rocky Mountain Elk bull. Different. Oh, cool. Congratulations, man. That's money. Thank you so much. I appreciate that super chat. Thank you. But where would a buck be if I was a big buck? Apparently not here. Oh. Um, haven't been here in a while. Use the 470 Nitro on some bison. That is not a bad idea. I definitely don't have the 470 Nitro. But when I do someday, I would definitely use it on some bison. Wow, are you kidding me? One baby buck here? That's it? That is it? I mean, that is one tiny buck. How? Where are all the does? I see something's fishy. Oh, there should be bucks here now. Branson Miller, I watch all of your videos and I'm a huge fan. Keep up the good work. Don't stop grinding. I appreciate that, Branson. Well, there's a doe. Uh, I mean, it's a buck. There's a doe. Another doe. We're going to go to one more spot. And if I can't find a decent buck, then I'm going to multiplayer. Because this is sad. My best spot right here. Well, one of them at least. That's Could you? Money. Thank you so much. Good question. Could you explain how to recognize diamonds? So the animals have certain levels. For instance, like the mountain goats here, the max level for them is a level five. This is a four easy here. So that means that he's not quite big enough to be a diamond. But if we found a level five, that means that he potentially could be a diamond. Same thing with, uh, well, right now, mule deer are like level six and seven. So it's kind of hard to explain that. But um, same thing with the uh, bighorn sheep. Level five will be diamond. If we found a mountain lion right there. If we found a level nine, level nine would make diamond. That's a seven. They're both pretty heavy sevens, but still just sevens. That's actually quite a nice level three. Other level three. No. I mean, it's a pretty good level three. It really is. But 
But yeah, it's really not too exciting. That sure isn't. What is this? Another level three. What kind of bow do I have in real life? I have a Hoyt Katera bow. It goes from 70 to 80 pound draw. I'm about to take down that buck over there. 355. I think we'll take down that buck for now. Uh, maybe we'll take down this one. 250. I'll take him down. Yeah, he's down. We'll take down this uh, mountain goat as well, maybe. Maybe not. It's kind of far. Ooh, let's see. Hey, Scarecrow, what's up? The hunting is not really that great. It is not great at all. <laughs> I can't even find a level four, a decent level four, that is. I'm thinking about going to multiplayer real soon. That mountain goat went down. I mean, you see that buck there? That's kind of like our biggest buck that we've seen. It's level three. So yeah. Yeah, we're not finding too many big bucks. That's for sure. Mountain lion. Mountain lion. All right, let's grab this buck and we're going to go do some multiplayer. I mean, cool rack on him, but 212 is not really anything too impressive. Yeah, typical muleys, exactly. Warden Mites, good to see you, man. I appreciate to have uh, another mod here and all the support. That is really cool. Maybe we'll go here. I'm gonna use the 357. I do have the 357 and I could use it, sure. Yeah, it's so inconsistent when you uh, hunt for mule deer. What the heck? Oh, they're all going to bolt. I was wondering if we could throw in the slugs quick. But we can't. <laughs> well, we dropped one. The other one missed it. Uh oh, there we go. So it's actually pretty good timing here. Oh, whoa. Because it's 720 in the morning. And yeah, I mean, we should still be able to find some bucks around. Yeah, it did. It uh, got a little bit aggressive. It's not a bad size mountain goat. Where do they sleep? Back there from five until nine in the morning. Wait a second. We might be able to go over there and actually see some bucks sleeping or bedded. Hey Colt, not too much, not too much at all. We had some cool action with some gobblers before and uh, a couple of decent bighorns, but no muleys, hardly any luck with muleys so far. The 
so I'm hoping we could find some bucks here. Yeah, sure. Drift King, love the vids from UK. Thank you for that. I appreciate that. All the way from the UK. If I was a big mule deer, I'd probably be bedded somewhere over here. But. Oh, nice carrot. Turkeys, bighorn, couple of Rocky Mountain elk, but no giant mule deer. No decent mule deer, even. Hmm. This map might have been hunted a bit. Hey, we found some bucks. There's one there, level four. Couple does, small buck. Oh, look at that. Those does were all like tucked in in that brush over there. It's not a bad size bighorn. That's why they're spooking. Good level three. Well, we're going to take down this buck because he's the ba- Oh, hold on. I see a bunch of animals over here now. That's going to be... That's actually a decent ram. A couple of rocky elk over there. So, yeah, we'll take down probably this buck... And then uh, these two rams over here. Perfect shot on that one. Couldn't quite get a shot off on that one. But we might be able to take down this buck. They look good. And I don't see it. There it is. Oh, piled up. Cool. There's the other big horn. Or is that the same? Yeah, right there. That's going to be liver. You got to lead them quite a bit when they're walking. You'll get one if we see something that actually is worth saying it. <laughs> hey, Tucker. What is that? Uh, it's a doe. Cameron Owens, I used to play... Wait, we used to play on the Hunter Classic together. Oh, that's so cool. I definitely remember your name. What was your Hunter name, though? I mean, I recognize your name, like, on YouTube, where you probably commented. But I don't remember... Oh, there's our buck. Another decent ram. 136 gold. Double lung hard shot at 247. 281 black. There's the other ram down, and there's our muley buck down there. That's a real decent bighorn. Hello, Jamie Pie from Denmark. How are you doing today? 
What's your loading? Oh, what's your loadout? We have the 30 odd six, uh, the 12 gauge loaded with birdshot. We also have uh, slugs for that too. And the bow. 133, that's a gold too. Stomach, liver. And here's our buck. Ooh, Carrot got two level six muley trolls today. Or yesterday, actually. You know, I don't mind this rack. I actually don't mind that rack at all. That's a very realistic looking muley buck right there. It's kind of like, if you saw that buck in real life, and you know, you're hunting really hard, it's gonna be really difficult to pass up this buck. It really is. But then again, it's not bad. Yeah, liver shot. Uh, let's just say Ghostline83. Greetings from Germany. Hello, and thank you so much. I do have a Discord, Gavin. Yes. Whitetail are scored terribly. Yeah, it's kind of tricky to score them. Yeah, Scarecrow. It's a very realistic looking rack. You know, to me, that's like a, a 130, 130, 135, 140s whitetail buck, I guess. Okay, we need to go somewhere where there's action during the day. I know they bed in here. So maybe we could like work our way around that way. I know they also bed here too though. They bed here. Uh, maybe we'll just go through here. Are six and seven mule deer on Parque Fernando? I believe so. Yes, I believe so. What's up, Tammy Dalton? What map are we on? We are on Silver Ridge Peaks. Thackers has nearly zero recoil. I agree. Oh, nice. What's going on, uh, Kleatik? Good to see you. A few days ago, I got a Dilute True Rack Muley. It was a level four. Congratulations on that really cool Dilute Muley. Loris, this game would be very cool on virtual reality. I agree. Hey, Yoni. What's going on, Asher? How have you been? Well, that's a turkey. So at least we have something that we can actually hunt, which is sort of cool. Got a hen and a tom. Not very big. But it is a Tom. Oh, no way, it's Sam. What's going on, Sam? We actually might get an opportunity to call him these gobblers, or at least. Yeah, there are two gobblers. I had a feeling there was a couple. Cool. No, look at that. Oh, look at it. I think that's a leucistic. And it's a pretty big male. That's a really cool male. I would have to say that that's a leucistic because it doesn't have a pink nose, but we have a leucistic, um, but he's not a big male. He's a very small, I think it actually might even be a female to be honest, but uh, I think if we take down these turkeys here, I don't think that it's going to spook that rare bison. What animal would you say raise your heart rate the most? Probably the uh, OG diamond mule deer when they first came out definitely but what do you think is that a leucistic or an albino it kind of looks albino yeah scarecrow says it's an albino huh it looks pretty white you're right it definitely looks pretty white but where are these turkeys gonna go Yeah, he's just sitting out there. Oh, he does have pink feet. You're right. He's an albino. That is so cool. Hey, we got a zone too. There's the gobbler. 
Let's set out our decoy. And let's get over here and call this sucker in. <laughs> Carrot says it's an albino. Yeah, I realize that. It's an albino, you're right. I honestly didn't know. Well, look how white it is. You can see it from here. Wow. That's very cool. Probably one of the coolest rares that I've seen in a while. I mean, besides like the melanistic that we got a couple days ago, but... Let's call in these gobblers. There we go. Let's get some cover. Why don't I have cover here? I need more cover than this. Give me some cover. Um, that should be cover for sure. Turkeys are smart. They don't come in. Oh, we had cover. Where was that spot? Well, I guess we can't get too much cover. <laughs> and we'll just stay right here. Oh, they're coming in. Oh, they're coming in. We got a little bit of cover here. Oh my God. Look at all the turkeys coming in. All right, let's switch out to our 12 gauge. We have the birdshot loaded in here and there are just turkeys everywhere right now. One more thing. There we go. So there's one gobbler there. He's about 90 out. And the other gobbler, I think... Actually, where is he? Can't see him just yet, but we're going to hold tight. <laughs> that albino is not going anywhere. There he is right out there. You can definitely tell he's an albino right now. Pink feet. Just barely tell the pink nose. But there's the gobbler at 96. He's coming in. Can't quite see the other one just yet, but let's see. Oh, he's right there. He actually snuck around to the right side here. It seems like they come in better if you have more decoys. One decoy is not really cutting it. I mean, it's sort of bringing them in, but it's not really bringing them in exactly like how it's supposed to. What bow should I buy? I would get the Hawk Edge. The Hawk Edge is probably the best. Yeah, Scarecrow, the Albino Bison is a really cool rare. Come on. Oh, that hen's pretty close. She's about 40 out right there. I see the Tom. He's right there about 50. He's coming in. He's about 50 yards. Now the other Tom is pretty close too. So we should probably get ready. Oh, there's one Tom. Oh my God. That Tom was so close. We had to take the shot. Look at this. I don't want to take any more shots. Well, hello, Pen. That gobbler was like 10 yards away right here. And we had to take him down. But we got him. That was actually a really good shot on this one. Uh, 4.10 gold. Ended up hitting him just like that. Wow. I even led him too. And we had 44 hits on that thing. In the neck, chest, and lung. At 21 yards out. And this one. 29 hits into this thing. At 50 yards out. That's actually a really good pattern there too. We got two in the head. Probably like four or five into the chest there. Nice. Yeah, that worked out really good. But there is our albino potential. Plains Bison. And he's bedded. Wow. That's an incredible Plains Bison right there. Uh, the only thing we have to take him down with is the bow. And we have a good win, so that's what we're going to use, I guess. We'll have the Hawk Edge bow with some tracers. Oh, we're going to be using the Hawk Edge bow on an albino bison. I just realized this. 
that's gonna be pretty epic <laughs> that's gonna be super epic actually wow uh ben we're gonna be using the hawk edge bow and the 600 grain arrows and ideally i would like to go for Ooh, we might have to go for a far shot i don't really want to i would like to get like 100 yards and take like a 100 yard shot but we might have to go for like a 140 yard shot here because if we get any closer we're gonna be on top of that hill and uh we're not gonna be able to take the shot but i think we're looking at about like 140 right there maybe 140. he's bedded i just want to double check 167 so good thing i checked <sighs> get a little bit closer Maybe like there, and we could probably try and squeeze one right into the front shoulder there, and it might drop right in there. Ah. I can't get any closer. That's it. 160. That's it. That's all the closer we can get to this thing. <laughs> that is so cool, though. Look at that. If I can get zeroed in to 150... One forty could work. One fifty seven. Now one forty could work. Oh, good hit, good hit. <laughs> get up, get up. Look at that. We tucked it in there perfectly. He's down. <laughs> that is an incredible rare. He was about 160 out. And I think we ended up getting a lung and liver. Potentially we could have got double lung, but wow. Right on the money. Hey, Parker. Thank you for that. What's going on, gamer? Good to see you, man. Yeah, we'll definitely take a cool picture of this. It is indeed an albino. Super cool rare. Wow. And we took him down with a bow. That's a beautiful albino too. Alright. Let's pick him up. He's a gold! No way! That's a super rare. A gold albino plains bison. You gotta be kidding me. We ended up getting a left lung liver and stomach at 161 yards. I can't believe he made gold. What an incredible rare. Thank you for that, Rip. I appreciate that. Oh, wow. Look at that shot. That dropped in there perfectly. Just hit right above the top of the heart and got a uh, left lung liver and stomach at 161. That was incredible. Especially seeing the red tracer sticking out of that thing, like right in front of the front shoulder there. Wow. That is incredible. Albino. Thank you guys. I appreciate that. That is definitely one of my favorite rares that I've gotten recently. The fact that he made gold is just wow. I'm so happy with that. And more turkeys. More turkeys. It's a gobbler too. I guess if we could see it, we might try and get it, you know? Bad win though, so that might not really work so good. We got a little bit of time left, though. We got a little bit of time left. Thank you, Colton. Hey, Timothy Davis. Good to see you, man. And thank you for that. I appreciate that. Can't find any mule deer above level 3 in Silver Ridge. Yeah, I'm not having that, uh, that luck right now, either. <laughs> I can't find a level 4 on my map at all. But here's the thing, though. Like, three days ago, I just saw a 300 scoring muley on my map. And he's gone. So I don't know where he went. It was so strange. So where's this gobbler at? Oh, he's there. Well, that's not him. 
but he was uh where is he it's gotta be him we actually have cover here somehow we have cover I mean, I guess we might as well try and call. I don't think we could put the decoy out. He'll probably spook, but... If he comes in, he's going to be right on top of us. Hey, Cooper. Hey, Ghost Lion, thank you so much. I appreciate that, man. Keep it up. I appreciate that. Just watching for a red head. Oh, there's the hen. I see the hen. I know there was definitely a gobbler with her. I think there's actually two hens. That's money. Thank you so much. But because the first call we got was from a Tom. What was that? Bighorn. Uh, I don't see the Tom. I mean, we could smoke the hen, I guess, but come on, where's he at? Oh, I don't see him. All right, see you, Kurt. Can't really wait any longer because it's gonna take too long. But where'd he go? He was like right here. gone after all that that's a hen well where'd the tom go that wasn't cool hey Devin Well, I mean, we already have a really cool rare. So I guess even if we don't find a cool mule deer, I'm still pretty happy, but we should. Also, there could be, oh, it's mule deer time. It's action time. Let's, uh, let's try and find some here now. Don't need this anymore. Put our 30-odd six back. Hey, Kieran. They need to make turkeys gobble more and strut more. Yes, they do. They were supposed to kind of do that, but they really never did. Yeah, I don't think there's any bucks here yet.
The dope hunter. I had a level five fellow vanish. Oh man. Well, if it makes you feel any better, I've never even seen a level five fellow before. Backwoods boys. I like uh, classic rock, country, a little bit of everything. Bunch of elk here. Yes, I do. I'll be going bow hunting in October. There's a turkey and it's a hen. Probably doing some bass fishing here pretty soon too. Smalley. That's a decent pronghorn. Can't complain about that, but... Maybe we'll just take him down. I should take him down. Yes, I do, Santa rounds. Turkeys can, unfortunately, at this point. That is one smoked hen out of the sky. <laughs> Oh, that's cool. Yeah, 11 hits out, 34 yards. Favorite turkey spot? Turkeys are kind of more towards like the, uh, the west end of the map. See, I would think that there should be mule deer here, but they're just not here yet, maybe. But where would they be? Bighorn. Max estimate for pronghorn, I think, is 126 pounds. Or no. Well, it is actually like 132, maybe. See, that's a gold, small gold, but it is a gold. Where he could go. Oh, let's go here. Okay, now I'm excited. We're going to my favorite spot, my all-time favorite spot for muleys. There's no way we're not going to find at least a big one here. It's a little ways to get there, but it is definitely going to be worth it. Thing is, it's kind of far away from a lot of places, so not a lot of people really hunt that spot. And those are going to be your best spots, ones that don't get hunted all the time. Right over here. But I would have thought that there should be some mule deer over there. I really would have. Thank you for that, Barrow. I appreciate that. And Lambers as well. Max weight is 65 kgs. Favorite animal to hunt in game right now is the Truac mule deer. I love hunting them right now. Hold escape, why is that? Gobbler. Any good mic deer? Uh, oh, okay, mule deer. 
No, not just yet. We've yet to see like anything respectable at least. Still looking for it though. Thank you, Brendan. I appreciate that. Good question, Ben. What guns do you use in real life? And what do you hunt with? Well, uh, I use my 243 Remington for whitetail during gun season. And during bow season, I use my Hoyt Katero compound bow. During duck hunting or goose hunting, I use my 12 gauge Benelli. Turkey hunting, I use that too. Pheasant hunting, I use my Benelli. Pigeons, I use my Benelli. Um, black bear hunting, I use a 300 Winchester Magnum. What's going on, Zipsum? I am on... Uh, I don't even know. Oh, I'm on Yum server. What's your least favorite animal to hunt in this game? Hmm. I would probably say the must deer. Yeah, probably the must deer. You're a good YouTuber. Keep up the good work. I appreciate that, TTV. Thank you. Yeah, we got a little ways to go, but it should be worth it. Really, Drake? You've joined four multiplayer servers and haven't seen one decent mule. Wow. I mean, yesterday I actually found uh, a couple of pretty good ones on multiplayer. But I can't find a good one on my map right now. It was so weird because we got a level 6 mule deer and it scored like 293 and you would think like that buck would come back at least somewhat decent and biggest one I've seen in that area is like a 232 scoring gold mealy but yeah. Hey Curran just got here welcome man. Have you ever killed a bear? Yes I have when I was 18 I got one with a 300 Winchester Magnum in uh well, near Ironwood, Michigan area. Uh, she's been in one of my videos. Turbo diesels are pretty cool, yeah. When I was growing up in high school, my dad had a Ford F-350 with a turbo diesel in it. I think I forgot it was like a 6.0 turbo diesel or something anyways that that truck would haul down the uh, down the road it sounds really cool too is multiplayer better than single player for mule deer it definitely is it seems at this point usually um, what I like to do is I'll hunt my maps really hard for a specific animal and if I feel that I don't really have good luck on my map for that animal then I'll go and do multiplayer for instance like whitetail I can hunt my maps and find some really cool whitetail the same thing with blacktail and um, what else well regular uh, mule deer too you know but for Cape Buffalo I would always do multiplayer no, I don't live in Michigan, but my parents had a cabin and uh, like a little lake cabin in Michigan. So we used to go there a lot. And yeah, the old Fords. I think it was like a 92 or something like that. 93. So it had to be somewhere around that. Might have been even newer. Might have been like a 98, to be honest. They are pretty awesome. They sound so cool. The whistle and the, uh, the turbo is just wow. It sounds so cool. I remember driving that thing. Now he has a... It's like a... It's a Chevy Duramax. 6.0 Duramax or something like that, I think it is. That's pretty fun, too. That thing hauls. There we go. 
See? It was totally worth it. <laughs> One dough. No, there should be more. 950. We got plenty of time, too. Oh, there's a level four. Other level four. Dodo. You gotta be kidding me. There has to be... I mean, that's not tiny, but it's really not that big either. That's... <sighs> Those two bucks are like the same exact rack. They have like the white tail rack. Boy. Really can't find anything decent here. Well, we'll take down both of them, I guess. I just don't even know like where to go right now. Hey Aiden, what's going on Aiden? Well, that's the case. I might as well make some more money, I guess. At this point, it's like, I don't even know where the big bucks are at. Just light them all up. Why not? How do you change the weight and stuff to pounds and yards? Good question. So if you go to the menu button, um, you go into, it's been a while since I've done this, but system, game, and unit system right here. You want to make sure it says Imperial for pounds That's and Thank you so much. metric for, uh, well, metric, but yeah. Hey, Jackson. Good question. Why don't I use spite so uh, sight spotting? It's because I find it more realistic to not have it. That's all. So, cool white toe rack, I guess. 211. And then this block here. Oh, hey, J hey uh, John. Your mom has a turbo diesel Santa Fe. Very cool. Another kind of white tail rank, 212. I'm doing good, Cash. Thank you. Do you like to watch sports? I used to, but since this whole, like, you know, no audience thing happened, I don't really find it as exciting anymore. But I definitely used to. Green Bay Packers was uh, one of my favorite teams growing up. Yeah, the metric stuff is kind of confusing. I hear ya. Well, sadly, I think we have to find a new map. Because this map's been hunted hard, it seems, at least. Uh, well, we could try and go there. 9 o'clock till 10. Potentially we might catch something over here. I don't even know. Hey, awesome farmer. It's weird only getting two and three mealies. Yeah, I don't understand that. That's right, Cameron. I'm only getting like level threes and uh, small fours on my map. Like I can't find a decent four. You know, yesterday in the video we did I found like a 279, 250, and a 300 score in melee. It was excellent. But that was multiplayer. It honestly seems like once you hunt your maps and take down some animals, when they come back, they come back smaller than usual. Oh, I don't know if he was asking me or not. That's a uh, real decent ram. Another real decent ram. 
And I saw a muley buck over there too. Good black bear. Well, at least we got some decent animals here. There's a level four. Sounds good, John. Ah, uh, we finally have a somewhat decent buck. That is by far the biggest buck that we've seen. Small level four. Doe. Doe. Okay, we're not going to pass up this buck because that's the biggest buck that we've seen. That sucker's like 300 out too. Uh. Yeah, as soon as we take down this buck, we'll head over there, John. He comes out. There he is. Oh, that looked good. Looked real good. Sounds good, Clay. Yep, he's down. Thank you, awesome farmer. What are you hunting with? We're currently using the 30 odd six. Finally, another somewhat decent buck. I'm not going to complain about this. That actually might have been pretty good. I was a little bit high, but he was about 280 out, so we should have held high, and he just piled up. Perfect. So, yeah, finally, a couple of bucks that are going to break 230s, which I'm impressed with that. How do you play, or how do people play on your server? So you can make a multiplayer game and then they can come join your server. Okay, so the first buck we got was like over here, right? Oh, I wish we could throw the slugs in here quick and take down this bear. But it just won't happen. That's a seven, too. I think we got a non vital hit. But that. Oh! Just rolled him. I know we hit spinal cord, but I think we might have caught lung. Oh, well, that didn't work out. Uh. Intestine. So the first shot, we did catch lung. Shoulder blade and lung, a 20.7 gold black bear. That was a sound very hard. Brown. That's nice. Uh, I think the buck was actually back here. That should be his track. That might be. Yeah, that's him. That's going to be him. And there he is piled up there, and then we'll go over and grab the other buck. Two thirty-three, our biggest buck of the hunt. Double lung liver walking at three hundred and thirty-four. So we should have hit like right there. Yep. Right there. Perfect quartering way shot. Not bad. I like that rack too. And let us right to our second buck. 225 gold. Cool buck as well. Double lunged him at 264. I love how he has uh, 
like two stickers on both sides here. That's really cool. But yeah, finally, something decent. Or worthwhile, I guess. <laughs> I guess we could go run here real quick. Thank you, Taurus. I appreciate that. I will do that as soon as I see something worth it. Don't worry. Somebody hunt here already? Uh, it looks like they might have. Have I hunted here? It's too late. Too late. We're going to have to go to a new spot really soon. But we'll run over here real quick and see if we can't jump something up. What was that? That's uh, elk. Ryan got your first diamond. Oh, that's an interesting one. Uh, 256. That's for... Who has that? Jeff Grant. Yeah. Do I ever host multiplayer? Why or why not? I typically don't because I don't like my zones to be eliminated pretty much. That is awesome. Nathan Fletcher. How have you been, Nathan? It's good to see you again. Congratulations on your first Diamond Gobbler today. That's so cool. Yeah, they left. Okay. New spot. I think we can go to... Uh, Johnny's server. So Johnny, if you're around, we are going to head over to your server. I found it. Thank you, Johnny. Good question. Angela LaForest. What's the biggest Tom you've ever gotten IRL? My biggest Tom is actually my first Tom and he had a 13 and a half inch double beard. He was absolutely massive. Inch and three quarter spurs. And he weighed probably close to 30 pounds. He's full body mounted flying on a piece of driftwood at my parents' house because he's just such a unique bird. But yeah, that's my biggest one and my first one. Oh, what do we have over here? You will deer does. But where there's does. There should be bucks. Let's go check it out. Settings, what kind of settings? Let's see, there's a level five mountain goat and a level seven mule deer up there. Well, that's interesting. We might have to check that out. Where are you at? Way up there, a level seven you saw? Interesting. That's a max weight buck track. That is a max weight buck track, and he was this way. I don't know if he was actually with that herd or not. He's a gray. That's pretty cool. No matter what, this should be the biggest buck that we've seen today, just based off the weight on this buck. So we're going to track him down. 
Let's see if we can't find him. Tracks. Oh, level six. Was that a muley? Bunch of elk out there. Ah, I don't see any more tracks. This happens a lot. You'll be tracking them and then the track just like disappears. See the tracks like way back here. I guess usually we'll just keep going the same direction and eventually catch the next track, but I don't know. I don't know where he's going to go. Hey, Blackout, what's going on? Glad to see you made it, man. We just found a max weight Millie Buck track. And I can't find his next track. Oh god, I thought that was him. <laughs> That's a Rocky Mountain Bull. But where? Oh, you found him? That's so cool. Congratulations. Over there, huh? Good luck. Go get him. I just don't know if you'd have went up here or back that way. I would say he's probably like somewhere over here. But I don't know. Man, no tracks. Thank you, Rudy. We're on a pretty heavy track right now. Walk in a straight line and you'll find it. Uh, I thought so, Colby. That looks like a pretty big gobbler. I mean, it looked like it had a big beard. But now that I look at it. It's a small one. So scratch that. Not interested in him or her. But I'm definitely interested in this. That's not it. Tell me I lost the track. That should be his track. That's not his track. He's probably over there. Oh, I think I lost his track. Unless... It just disappeared. I got his track again. Whew. I will not lose it this time. It's showing he's going this way now. What the... Oh no, you can take him. I already have a level six, don't worry. That's really nice of you though. You found him. I 
just want to find the next track. Until nine. We got a buck calling down here. That might be a good thing. Got a good win, but yeah, go get him, John. I'm glad you like it, Ben. Thank you. So there's a the doe. A buck called over here. I kind of want to like jump him up, but at the same time. Hey, thank you for subscribing, Bryce. Welcome to the channel. I wouldn't mind like sneaking over here and actually seeing him before he just runs to Timbok too. But I don't know if it's the same one or not. I doubt that's the max weight buck. I really do. And welcome to the channel. Thank you for subscribing. There's no way that is either. So it seems like we kicked him up. Got a big horn there. Drink kick him. You should do some duck hunting on classic. Duck hunting on classic is a lot of fun. Yeah, maybe I'll have to do that sometime. I'm not even going to spot that buck because I know it's not him. That's money. Thank you so much. I appreciate the super chat. Black bear. Maybe he came back to his spot. Maybe he did. Hey, Jill, thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the channel. Oh, that's a five, but it's not. There he is. I think, yes, that's him. That's him. It's a five, but I don't think he's an actual five. I think he's just like a giant four. And what happened is he ended up going back to his same exact spot, but he's still huge. You know, he's going to be like two seventies, probably two sixty, two seventies. Turkey there. Yeah, because I think the five racks now are more like uh, the seven racks. Hey, Izzy, we found a max weight muley track, and it's a good buck, but I don't really know if he's going to be big enough to be a diamond. I think the estimate was like 255 or something like that. 245? Yeah. Well, I mean, there... Is that a Tom? Yeah. There was two of them. So, one might be decent. The other one's pretty small. Hey, Potato Head. I appreciate that comment the other day, by the way. 
They're right there. But like, where are they going? I don't know where they're going to. Marissa just got a diamond? Nice. And, oh, you just got the game. It is good. Yeah, it's great. It's a great game. It's a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Well, we might just like jump these guys up. Cause it's gonna be really thick over here. It's gonna be hard to see. Got tracks here. I bet, yeah, I figured that their zone is right there. Which is why we couldn't find the buck, because we're right on top of the zone, and he didn't come back. Where'd they go? Turkey's there. Elk tracks. Oh, there. I was like, where'd the tracks go? Here they are. Is that elk? Where do you go now? Oh, very cool, Potato Head. How do you like it? Wow, this buck's leaving tracks like really, really far apart. He's acting like he's a giant. And he looks high, but I just don't know if he's wide enough to get full score potential. That should be... Well, it should have been them. Where'd the mule deer go? Oh! Jeez! Oh, That's our buck. Just ran right into us. Sucker. He looks like a beautiful buck, doesn't he? About to take a really risky shot here. Hmm. Well, hopefully it slows him down. Oh, he's only going to be a 245? You know what? He might... Is he going to come back? A 14. Ah, he might come back. That's a 245? What was that? I just saw him. That's him. Why would you stop spinning in circles? Oh, there's the other buck. That buck's actually kind of impressive. I don't know if we're going to get a shot. <sighs> I lost breath. That's going to be spinal cord, but you know what? It is what it is. There's another buck. Oh, 
250, yeah, that's gonna be spinal cord probably. I mean, even if the estimate is off, he's gonna score like 270s or something like that. Just decent. I mean, way bigger than the ones we've been seeing. Well, that's a tiny buck. Yeah, Warden, they are kind of bugged. Let's see, a buttery medium. Uh, well, if he didn't drop, then we might have actually hit the lung. I thought he dropped. Yeah, we got the lung. 316 yards out, stomach, liver, and left lung, and a 245. So, but decent buck, real decent buck. And that second shot was actually pretty good, considering it was 316 yards and I was almost out of breath. The first shot, oh, I pulled left. It's actually good that I pulled left because we probably would have hit the skull and ruined the trophy rating otherwise, but I mean, I'll take it, you know? He's not a giant, but he's a really, really decent buck. Let's see, maybe we could go... Maybe we could go over here for now. Oh, he's still hunting. Hey, Gavin, what's going on? DH19, I had to leave what I miss. We got a really cool albino plains bison and a somewhat decent muley buck just now, I guess. Hey Bryce, Gavin I do, yep, I have a mic. Well he wasn't that big, I only do it when there's something that's really really exciting. It was just, I mean a 245 melee is, it's a decent, you know, good buck, but he's not, not one where I'm gonna say holy. Like the 300 scoring melee that I saw two days ago, that's, that's a holy buck, you know. It's not letting me in Call of the Wild. Why not? Thank you, Potato Head. So, I don't know if we're going to change the time here or what. Doesn't look like it. So, we're going to go over to this spot and check out a couple of bedding areas that I know are good for Muley Bucks. See, 1400. Man, turkeys are probably going to be around here pretty soon. Hey, Call of Duty. Yeah, it's a tough shot, Arrow. It's a tough shot. How big was that buck, John? That level six that you saw.
I'm doing really good, Call of Duty. Got some AC. I didn't see a five moment go, no. Realistically, a 200 plus melee in real life is massive, but in game, the scores aren't super realistic. Yeah, you need to get one that's like 270 plus in game in order to be kind of like that same effect. Oh my God, we've been streaming for two hours and 16 minutes. Wow, time flies. There should be some bucks out here. At least I'm hoping. Uh, I mean, it is a buck. Not really the right type of buck that I'm looking for, but I'm not going to complain. Just saw him shoot it. Oh, nice. Let's take down this pronghorn. He should be gold. And let's go over here and pick him up. Oh! I knew we should have looked around the corner. Looks like we have pronghorn, elk, and maybe bison. That's a three. Oh, they're all small. Okay. No harm done. What in the heck is running over here? I've literally never seen a mountain goat over here before. But that mountain just got smoked. <laughs> I think we hit the neck, to be honest. Another one? That one's moving a little bit faster. Give me one more shot. Ah. Wow. Got a bear. Another mongo. That's a max weight mongo right there. I'm empty. And we got a bear coming past. I do have the Hawkage bow, which probably could reload that sucker faster than this thing, but. Where are you gonna go? Where are you gonna go? That was a perfect double lung shot. That should take him down. Uh, vertebrae, spinal cord. And our bear did pile up. Oh, you got a 38.10. Diamond is 39. Just missed diamond. I've never seen mountain goats over here. What is with these mountain goats? What is with these mountain goats randomly? Out in the middle of nowhere. Female. Yeah, that's a good mountain goat. Let's see, just shot a 282 buck. There you go, Drake. That's what I'm talking about. That's a beautiful muley. Now, once you get above the 270 mark, those muleys look really incredible. Okay, why do you have so many mountain goats over here? Are these all female? Seems like it. Uh, female mountain goat. Hey, Hunts, what's going on? I definitely remember you. Big boy draw. I haven't played in two days because I'm not home, but I'm ready to be home. Very cool. You inspired me to play Call of the Wild? Oh, that's awesome. I'm glad you like it. What gun are you using? We're using the 30 odd 6 uh, Everett, I think it's called. Not yet. There's our pronghorn. Let's grab him. I 
I thought I would see some muleys over here, but maybe not. Hey, Bamas, thank you so much. Did you get a haircut? Wait, TD just got a haircut. Oh, nice. Very cool. I appreciate that, Bamas. Just got on. Nice haircut. Oh, you just got on. That's money. Thank you so much. I thought you were saying you got a haircut, too. <laughs> like, yeah, I know I got a haircut. I appreciate that, Bamas. Thank you. Yes, I got a haircut uh, last night. 82 gold. I'm hoping there's a decent muley around here. Love watching your vids and flinters too? Yeah, very cool. What happened? Oh, you're uh... Oh, I see. Hey Derek, thank you for subscribing and welcome to the channel. Thank you for that warden. Oh, sorry for uh, clicking in the mic. <laughs> there should be some muleys bedded over here. <laughs> I'm all like, yes, please change the time. I thought that was an albino bison again. Thank you. Some rocky elk over there. We forgot one of our mountain goats. Okay, why am I seeing mountain goats over here? This is so strange. Turkey. Who's hunting? Who's next to me? Oh, you're over here. What's up? What's up, John? Oh my god, look at the turkeys. Turkeys flying everywhere. Lots of action. Another bear. Another bear. Pronghorn. That's a good bison. But let's go somewhere else, I think. Six hard. Let's see, would you like to hunt my server? I haven't really hunted muleys on it yet. Oh, sure. Yeah, why not? That sounds fun. Hey, Nazar Crow, good to see you. How's the farm doing? Anyone watch BZ Hubs? Oh, of course, of course we do. He was doing a Jurassic Park uh, video a couple days ago. I appreciate that, John. Thank you. Well, we're going to cover a couple more spots before we go over there, but for now... Uh, 9 o'clock. Could check this spot, I guess. That's a doe, but where there's a doe, there's another doe.
There's a muley. Not tiny, I guess, but another buck over there. That one's kind of tiny. Diamond, nice. Let's see, I see a mountain goat dead. Let me know. What? The mountain goat was a diamond? Oh, interesting. Uh, that's kind of funny. What if the mountain goat that we saw was actually a diamond? Hey, a max weight gobbler. I haven't been here in a while. I would have to say the 30 odd six for that potato head. Uh, tips for diamond hunting, just get lucky, hunt hard, and uh, be in the right spot at the right time. There's a mule deer. Resting. I think I see another one, but I can't quite tell. Oh no, there is one down here. Okay. They're not that easy to find, big boy. What's going on, Caden? Good to see you, Caden. Yes, it is Sunday. Sunday, I stream. Well, we got a call from a doe down here, but I don't see anything. Buck track. Yeah, I'll swing by there later and try and pick them up. But for now, let's head to a new spot. I actually like Silver Ridge Peaks quite a bit. The variety of mule deer is just incredible. That's either a dilute or an albino. Probably a dilute. Yeah, it's a dilute. Two sort of all right bucks. Couldn't tell what that was. Stacks of does over there. Another doe. Big goat on the ridge. Nice. There's another buck. Very small buck, though. I would take the shot, but I don't want to potentially spook a giant. Because right over here is where I got the level 6 the other day. Another doe. Cool dilute dough, but just a dough.
It's that same buck. I mean, that's not really that impressive. It's not tiny, but it's really not that great. Oh, really cool. That's awesome, Vox. Let's try out this spot. Oh, that's actually where we got the, uh, that max weight buck before. So maybe there? Where did you take your bow? Uh, oh. Oh my God, look at the turkeys and elk and deer and that's the other five medium that we saw before. That should take them down. We have one more bullet if we need it, but Ooh, we're going to need it. We are going to need it. Depending on how far out he was, I think it's because he was too far. I think we might have missed. Uh, yeah, I think we missed. That's all right. There's no level four turkeys. Nope, only three. I would go there, but it's a long ways away from here. It takes way too long to get there. I wish I could hunt my own map, but I just can't because there's like hardly any decent bucks there. Living the dream. Yeah, that's a smaller one, so I'm not really too worried about that. That's right, Warden. Hey, Shanks. Oh, nice, Bamas. Got your second diamond turkey today. It was level two. Those are kind of rare. I've only got one level two diamond. Hey, Jaden. Just trying to find some bucks. There's another good buck, max weight buck, but it should be a level four. At this point, we need to see a level six in order to be potentially a diamond. But that is a really good rack. That's definitely a good buck, you know? See if we can get him to turn. Two hundred yards out. I'll take him down. Get a little bit forward, but yeah, I think he went down. Yeah, he definitely went down. So at least we got another pretty good buck. Six days for respawning. Yeah, you know, I probably haven't been doing enough uh, resetting the time on my map in order for them to come back and respawn. So that's a turkey. Oh, I couldn't see it. Got a bear. I uh, kind of lost the turkey. Uh, that's right. 
But we got some more time. We got to get moving. Cover some more spots here. Where to next? Welcome back, Call of Duty. 245. So that's our second biggest buck of the hunt. 206 yards out and double lung. Yeah, I was a little forward. I figured that, but that's all right. Got enough room for one more spot, maybe? Oh, I wanted to go. Yeah, I'm going here. I'm going here. Don't worry, I'm not going to interrupt you. M1 or 300? Good question. I would take the 300. Because it's got so much knockdown power. You go that way, I'm going this way. Hey, Kaden. Uh, the stream's going pretty decent. Finally getting some okay bucks, I guess. The chances of you seeing a diamond increase when you have a higher level up. I haven't seen diamonds. I just started the game a few weeks ago. That's a good question. I would say the chances increases or the chances increase when you hunt more. The more hours you put into the game, then the more chances something decent will come back and it's going to score a diamond or not. Doesn't really matter what level you are, but I guess like the more time you put in, the higher up you're going to be anyways. Or the seven millimeter. I mean, I honestly don't really like the, the uh, seven millimeter that much because it's a single shot and I like to be able to have follow up shots. Oh, that's awesome, Jason. Congratulations on your gold elk. There is something that's kind of impressive. A 275 buck right there. That's a beautiful buck. Another five medium, but that's a huge four. So 300 yards out. I think we'll take this shot from right here. Yeah, right there. Yeah, no, it's fine. Well, that was kind of cool. I think we're like walking right now. It only comes when you get lucky, Colby. What shotgun? I like the 12 gauge pump. That's money. Thank you so much. Went to claim a decent bighorn. A level three white gobbler flew across me. Wow, that is so lucky. Congratulations on your, I think it's an albino or leucistic oh, turkey. I should take down that buck. Hey, Ghost Lion, thank you again. Uh, welcome back, man. $10.99. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, Ghost Lion. So we'll pick up this buck here. Which would have been... Oh. There he is. There he is. He's definitely going to be our biggest buck of the hunt so far. 
and a 275 blonde muley and that actually is one of the coolest ranks that there is right there it's the same rank that we got yesterday that our 300 bucks scored but 275 is a beautiful muley awesome rank on him and he's a gold yeah that's that's what we're after right there but i think that's also going to wrap up this stream so hope you guys enjoyed it and thank you so much for watching we'll see you guys next time